Welcome back to. Otto Kaksi. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today we are continuing our last play of Shahershahershahershahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahshahsh
diplomacy and I may know something, try to charm the information out of her. That's cheating. Climbing, try using your prowess and athletics to climb the top of the ballroom and get a bird's eye wheel. Let's go with this one, they, that sounds the most fun. Hmm, I haven't asked that boy Johnny to help her hide my things. And he seems like the kind of boy who likes to crawl around in the things. That's it! The edge of the stage is rinsed by curtain. Johnny must have crawled underneath and put my hat behind it. Sadie dives to the stage and flings aside a curtain ring the edges. After a moment of rooting around, Sadie lets out a triumphant cry and reemerges with a with the motherboard. So it's a hat. It's a fucking hat. Okay. Haha! <laughs> Take that, small and dexterous child! Eee. Why, why has everyone stopped dancing? Anna takes hold of Sadie's arm and steers her away from the stage. We should get going! Sadie can increase her skills during capers depending on the choices she makes, but she can also train in certain locations. How well does training work? It depends on her attributes! Sadie has six different attributes which can increase over the course of the game as she makes certain choices and practices certain skills. Attributes determine how effective a training a skill is. For example, if you're trying to train climbing, a high athletics attribute may give you more than one point in it. Let's look at the different attributes. Athletics determines Sadie's fitness and prowess at physical tasks. Charm determines Sadie's social skills and her ability to influence others. Knowledge determines the strength of Sadie's book learning and her understanding of facts about the world in general. Wit determines how quickly Sadie can react. Stress determines Sadie's stress level and makes obstacles more difficult. Your stress is added to the obstacle's difficulty, but stress can still be useful in some skills, so don't avoid it entirely. Dream determines how in tune Sadie is with her destiny and also determines the number of inspirations she's able to store. It will also affect the ending you receive. None of these attributes can be trained via the map screen. The only way to increase them is to go on adventures. Stress is generally brought up as a result of failures or traumatic moments. The rest improve the obstacle of successes. There's one other, uh, one other attribute that works a bit differently. Relationship. Basically, this one signifies the strength of Sadie's connection with the people most important to her. Throughout the course of the game, Sadie's relationship with her aunt, Anna, and several young men <laughs> will track be simultaneously. The main relationship score will be equal to the highest of those relationships. Relationships are also developed through success at the Cape Purse. Sadie sees Anna and Evelyn often, and many of them offer a small boost to their relationship score. But to get to know the boys, <laughs> Sadie will often have to seek them out. Look for caper titles like Felix, the main adventurer, or Nigel, the Egyptian adventurer, if you are so inclined. He certainly hasn't lost that quickly, and see your face so red since the time you tried eating chili peppers. <laughs> I wasn't embarrassed, but just uh, eager to be all away. Where to next? That's a good question. I didn't see the clues around the stage of the Savoy, so next it must be in the motorboard itself. Oh, it's still. Oh, it's still a hat. Sadie flips around the motorboard, which is a fucking weird name. I don't see anything. Sadie, there's something tucked in the lining of your cap. You're right, Anna. Why, it's a postcard from one of my all-time favorite places, the Met. Well, what are we waiting for? Anna sticks up her hand and hails a cab. As soon as it arrives, they get in. This is the main map of New York. You can use this to travel in the city and visit various locations. Locations are represented either by icons or by colored buildings. Clicking on a location will bring up a sub-menu showing all the different actions available for that locale. From this menu, you'll be able to use an action to enter capers, collect inspirations, or train your skills or attributes. In addition to gallivanting around New York, Sadie also gets into scrapes all over the world. She'll travel to the other exotic locales at set times throughout the year. Sadie must complete any capers in exotic locales before she returns to New York, or she'll lose the opportunity to do them. 
Right now, we say they need to go to the museum, the mouse over the center part, and see that the caper continues there. At the location, we can mouse over the caper to see what kind of skills we need if we want the very best outcome. Now, once again, skill training is related to the map screen as it can inspirations, which we'll discuss shortly, but you don't need to click on every location to find your skill when you increase. Whenever the map screen, you'll find out how much skills in New York and turn on the right side, clicking this map brings you to the corner and say this segment skills can be easily tracked. So, if you want to improve your skill at local level, you clearly have to put your confidence in the width and then into the skill itself. On the right of the side of the screen, you'll then see right on any other available action that pertain to that skill that we will be one that allows you to increase the skill and another that allows you to draw an inspiration from it. Simply go on the name of the action you want. You'll be taking it to the proper location of the map. From there, just click on the picture set and you'll do the rest. Alright, so now we have arrived at the museum. It just, just brought us here. We didn't even need to click the map. Alright. I'm all struck by the beauty of this museum. It's be so upset if I'll never have a museum while shutting up this studio game. Hooray, my favorite place! I have to say, Anna, today's been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. If you hadn't shown up, I'd still be double on anxiety over my speech or nibbling on cold chicken. Ah, cold chicken. Instead, I know my visitors have my favorite places in the city. Maybe that was your old plans all along. I suppose there's only one way to find out. They enter the museum. Oh, this is almost too easy. Why, what do you Oh, for exhibit your great adventures of the 20th century. That seems a bit modern. And a bit right up my alley. Just being near the belongings of so many great adventures is inspiring. Whoa. The door of the opportunity to encounter doing are as easy as the one you overcome in the Savoy Ballroom. In fact, the difficulty level of many obstacles will be much higher than your skill level. So what to do when faced with a particularly brain-busting challenge? Get inspired, of course. Inspirations are collectible cards that say the gains by actions available at locations. Each inspiration is associated with a given skill or attribute, and has a numerical value. Better inspirations are generally awarded when Sadie has a higher skill level. But there are many random factors that affect the quality of inspiration. Once earned, they can be spent at the obstacle. Say the skill level can be combined with inspiration value for the obstacle path. If the skill and the inspiration value added together are equal to the higher than obstacle difficulty, she wins! Hooray! Its inspiration is unique and carries different bonuses, and many of those bonuses are directly related to the original skill. So you'll need to read them carefully to determine how to best use them. You should also keep in mind that Sadie has a finite number of slots for storing these inspirations. A high dream attribute will allow you to store more, but so you may fish to focus on this attribute first. I'm sure Auntie would have told John. Oh, uh -huh. I'm sure Auntie would have told Johnny to hide the next piece of my graduation and summon somewhere near the adventure exhibit. The only problem is the sheer scale of the display. The chick is hiding my mixed garment. Is there any on the exhibit that strikes your fancy? Maybe it's all one that you all would know you'd be immediately drawn to. Her eyes line up. I'm not sure if he is here. Ah, <sighs> he. But I have an idea. <clears throat> so anyway, are you walking really fast or are you? And it almost bumps into CD as she stops dead in front of an exhibit cover with navigation and charts. Photos and model biplanes. Charles Augustus Lindbergh, <laughs> the American aviator who made the first uh, non stop line across the Atlantic. Lindbergh? What? Uh, wait a minute, I recognize this man. You keep a very picture of him. What do you do with that picture in the night? Next to my bed. <laughs> yes, Anna, I never told you this before. But I can carry the tiniest torch for him. Just a smidge, I mean, he's totally. Oh, no, I'm saying that for him. That's a amazing man. <laughs> Just so. Dreamy. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I see. Um, okay, I suppose pilots are. Interesting, no matter what they look like. See, it's a dream and the destiny. It's up to you to decide exactly what that is. 
The destiny is the overcharging goal of the game. You may wish to follow the objective associated with the main story, or you may decide to pursue your romance <laughs> with one of the young men you meet during your adventures. The decision will determine what kind of ending you get. Fuck the relationships. We're going adventure. I got all the posse I need. The choice is entirely up to you, but following a new dream can have a cost. If Sadie abandons one dream for another, the dream step will return to zero and she'll have to build it up again. To see the best game endings, simply you must complete all the capitals in the main story, and those of any love interest, by the end of the year. This can be difficult to do, so be sure to call it good inspirations. Now, where would that brat hide a conspicuously black garment? Be careful, Sandy! Those gods are giving us the eye! Oh, those flat tires. We are gonna be outwitters. Looks close. Sadie looks closer. Hmm, that model plane suspended from the room has some kind of collar on it. Maybe if I tug. I don't like how this is going! Ugh, how did that monster get this thing up here? He must have climbed Lindbergh's head to reach up this high. How dare he put his crappy feet on Charles's head! Uh, nope. Well, we fake Charles's head, I suppose. Watch out! The gorge coming this way! They are? They are! Sadie does a double take, then tugs on the black cover until it floats away into her hands. I don't know why I would still follow you around everywhere. Even when we were kids, you got me in trouble more than ten times than I can count. It's because I make your life more interesting. Now stop complaining. And run! They speed out of the museum as quick as their legs can take them. Sadie and Anna burst out of the museum with the guards close behind them. Oops, this obstacle will be a bit harder. Try using the inspiration you earned at the museum. Okay, so how did I do that? Mm. To escape the museum guards. Alright, I guess that was the inspiration. Uh, we will use stealth. There are some... There are some hazers right there. If I distract them for a moment, I can do it inside. Anna, do you have anything in your pockets? I got a little bit of pastry snuck on the breakfast this morning. Why? Sadie throws the pastry at the guards and they duck. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing weaponry skills. Hey, that was my snack for the ceremony. No time to complain. Put on me. She grabs Anna's hand and they dive into the hedge. The guards recover quickly but can't seem to find their friends. After a few moments of searching, they return to the museum. Well done, you managed to beat the obstacle. If you fail an obstacle during a caper, different things can happen. Sometimes a caper will continue as normal, but you'll lose relationship points or gain stress as a result of your failure. Your choices may also be slightly more restricted, and certain branches may be unavailable. In other cases, you'll be given the option to rest and temporarily exit the caper. This gives you the chance to collect more inspiration by returning to the grave room. Creeper, creeper, creeper. For a second time, to retry the obstacle will consume one of your actions. I'm glad that's over, but this is no time to rest on our laurels. Holds up the robe. Now, where is that next clue? You already have your motorboard. Put that on your robe on. Why not? I look great in it. Of course. Good idea! Maybe getting into the graduation frame of mine will help me find the next clue. Ta da! <laughs> Shady. Oh, that's a mortar board. That's. A oh, never heard the word before. Huh, that looks strange. Sadie shrugs the robe on and starts going through all the pockets. I'm afraid it's like so. What's this? Holds up a pair of coins. Why? It's a nickel. Another coin has been through one of those souvenir machines. Inspect the souvenir coin more closely. It says CB on it. And the number 1930. Well, it's timely. Don't forget to join Victory Chrysler building on the face. 
Okay, yes, it's a pretty clear indicator when to go next. Shortly after, at an observation deck on the Chrysler building, and we will continue the story of Shishirad next time. Tune in! This has been Radio Pay.